Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie and if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you enjoy today's video. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, if you haven't guessed already, I am doing an unboxing from one of my favorite diamond painting companies, Diamond Art Club. Now, I don't know if you can even begin to tell just from like seeing my hands on here, this box is enormous. It literally does not all fit in frame. <laughs> I am trying to remember if I've ever gotten a box this large from Diamond Art Club before. Um, maybe, I think this the kit that's in here is the same size as Titanian Oberon from Josephine Wall, but I just, I'm not remembering a box this big. <laughs> so we'll see. Oh gosh. But I'm super super excited for what is in here and really just couldn't wait to share it with you guys so packing slip oh my gosh it weighs like a million pounds okay okay so this is a square kit and if you're not familiar with diamond art club the square here and the blue line mean that this is a square drill kit if it's pink it's round <laughs> And what we're gonna be unboxing today is the gorgeous Fujiflora by the artist Dominic Davison. So let's get into it. Um, this is actually my first kit from this artist, Dominic Davison. He does a lot of landscapes and like just really beautiful scenic pieces. And it's been on my list to do a kit from him, but none have quite spoken to me enough. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, that is it. <laughs> That's the one that I need. So, oh my gosh, toolkit. I could like lift weights with that. It's so heavy, come on. Okay, got all our pieces. Okay, first things first, since I have a lot of people that are newer to diamond painting on my channel, I will just quickly show you what comes in the Diamond Art Club Toolkit and apparently drop pieces. There we go. <laughs> so in a Diamond Art Club Toolkit, you're going to get a basic pen as well as a squishy to make it a little more comfy. They often include multi-placers. I don't think it's 100% consistent. You're going to get a boat, a couple of plates of pink heart wax. I actually think this is a really solid wax choice for beginners, just so you know. <laughs> um, extra baggies if you want to store your drills that way. And a pair of pointy tweezers. Since it is a square drill kit, that's why you get the tweezers. They are very sharp. So please keep that guard on them when not in use. Set that to the side. You'll always get a couple of stickers with your Diamond Art Club kit. The first is gonna be the smaller one that a lot of people use these for if they have log books with their diamond paintings in them. Um, or you can stick it, some people stick it on the end of their boxes so that if they have a stash that they need to dig through to find this kit, it's a little bit easier because there's a picture on the end. Now this other sticker, yes, this is actually a sticker. This is our inventory sheet and also has a really pretty picture of the artwork we're gonna be doing. Again, this piece is called Fuji Flora from the artist Dominic Davison. This is a square drill kit. The size is 105 centimeters by 70 centimeters. So this is a big one. <laughs> if you happen to be working on a kit that is similarly sized, as in very large, and you're struggling with knowing how to work on it, I actually have a video that's all about tips and tricks and advice for working on a really large canvas. I'll link it up in the eye up here in the corner as well as down in the description if you'd like to go check it out. Anyway, back to this guy. This kit has 66 colors, but I mean, look at that artwork. Of course it has lots of colors. It looks like we're gonna have three ABs, in case you weren't aware, in Diamond Art Club's numbering system with their color codes, any number under 150 is an AB. So it looks like we're gonna have three. I bet this is gonna be very sparkly. And these symbols all look like, well, I see some new ones in here I haven't seen before from Diamond Art Club. 
let's get into the canvas and make sure that those symbols are gonna be nice and clear for us. So did anyone else get this beautiful kit? I believe as of the time of this filming, it is sold out on the website, but often if it sells out really quickly, that actually means that they're going to be bringing it back because it was popular. <laughs> so um, again, if you're not familiar with Diamond Art Club, they have this velvety soft canvas that is just a plushy dream that you wanna take a nap on, uh, but don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is large. <laughs> Let's unroll it. I will try to do some magic to get the whole thing. No, never mind. Why am I saying that? I'm not going to be able to quite get the whole thing in frame. Get close. This is, oh my gosh, this is so <laughs> beautiful. Oh my gosh, I want to drop everything and start working on this kit right now. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is. Okay, okay, let's get on to business. <laughs> um, they do include here step-by-step -step instructions if you're newer to diamond painting. Also, um, Diamond Art Club tucks discount codes everywhere. <laughs> There's one in here. Spoiler alert, 10% is not the biggest discount that you will find. I believe there is one on the actual box itself. There is one, yep, there's one at the bottom of the canvas, but here's what I will definitely show you, and that is on the packing slip that comes with your order. This one has 15% off. I will also let you know that if, um, if you want to help support me and the channel here, I'm actually a Diamond Art Club affiliate. And so I actually have a discount code and a link down in the description that will get you 15% off of your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. And it does allow me to make a small commission that I, then I can turn around and put back into creating really helpful and fun content for you guys. So if that kind of floats your boat, feel free to check out that in the description below as well. Well, let's get back to this beautiful canvas. <laughs> so large, let's grab the tape measure and see if we're measuring true to size. So it should be 70 tall and it is 70 on the nose and 105 centimeters wide. I'm gonna run out of tape because it's that big. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we're maybe just a click shy of a hundred, but this isn't laying perfectly flat. So, and by a click shy of a hundred, I mean a click shy of 105. It is true to size. This is a poured glue canvas, which is just the kind of adhesive that they use on here. It's very low maintenance to work with compared to double sided adhesive. Um, and let's, oh, we'll check the sticky. Yep, very sticky, very easy to work with. Let's take a look at a couple of spots on the canvas and see how our symbols are looking. These are looking beautiful and clear as day. Oh my gosh, you guys, for real, I just want to drop everything and start working on this beautiful kit. Except that it's really hard to maneuver around. <laughs> I got this beautiful sky up here. Now, Diamond Art Club does have a very distinct rendering style. It tends to be really crisp, clean lines. I think that's gonna work really well on a kit like this, though. Look at those cute pandas. We're gonna have some white ABs in the pandas. That's what the threes are there. Oh, okay, I have to like roll this to get to it. We also have a little bit of AB up here in the mountain. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself talking about the ABs, but we're looking at the canvas, so I'm gonna mention it. <laughs> yeah, these symbols are all looking really clear. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, you guys. Okay, so Diamond Art Club does include their branding up here at the top. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. They also have legends on both sides of the canvas if you are one that uses legends. It takes up almost the entire side of the canvas, but it's there. And we have another legend over here on the bottom right. Here you have info about their lifetime warranty. Their customer service is fantastic. They have been extremely helpful. 
anytime I've ever reached out with a problem. Here down here, they've got all of their social info. And then over here in the left corner, all the info about this particular piece and a little thumbnail. So let me move this out of the way because it is so large and in charge. <laughs> and let's get into this super heavy, super large bag of drills, okay? Now, FYI, if for whatever reason you store your canvases and your drills outside of the Diamond Art Club box that they come in, Diamond Art Club does include a sticker on the drills that tell you what kit that these go with. So if you store them separately, it's easy enough to match back up. So I'm gonna open this up. If you're not a fan of the crinkle, mute until you see that I am done. Wow, okay, I don't know how I'm ever going to get this back into that package, but it's fine, it's fine. We gotta look at these colors. All right, <laughs> so we've got two bags of 906, that green, 3608, one of my favorite pinks, three bags of 890, this beautiful forest green. Now, I always like to take a little bit of a closer look at the darker colors, particularly in squares, because for whatever reason, darker colors just seem to be a little bit more prone to having kind of junky drills with, you know, tabs on them or whatnot. But diamond art clubs are usually a pretty good quality. I don't see any, anything dicey with those. 3860, there is our first AB 141, or as my friend Lindsay likes to say, Diamond Art Club's favorite AB. <laughs> it's a white AB, and if you're not familiar with what ABs are, uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's just a special coating that they put on the top of the drills that makes them sparkle quite a bit more. It picks up the colors of the drills around it and just really can beautifully enhance a kit. So, 728, 602, does that feel like rainbow sherbet to anyone else? <laughs> 779, a couple of bags of 321. 3755, I feel like that's another of Diamond Art Club's favorite colors. A couple of bags of 600. Peachy Peachy, 754, and 334. Okay. Next strip-o drills. Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> Two bags of 3371. Here's a bag of 310. This is really the one to check for trash and what have you, but these look super clean. All right. 3607. 3861. Three bags of 905. Three bags of, oh, four bags of 904. That's gonna be that blending in those trees, I'm sure. 434, 3864. More browns, peaches, and more browns and browns. <laughs> I mean, it's a floral piece. Of course, it's going to have lots of greens and browns. All right. 334, 318, 666, more sort of almost tropical vibes here. Love that burgundy. Ooh, 301, it's almost a coral, corally pink. Here we go, here's another AB 133. I feel like this is another of Diamond Art Club's favorites. This is a nice orange. And I was looking at the canvas, I'll point it out to you again. It was kind of in some of the flowers in the corners. Blues and pinks, boy or girl, for being stereotypes. <laughs> Always love 550. All right, we should have one more AB waiting for us in here, let's see. Okay, this is a short strand, four greens and browns, and a bonus peach. <laughs> and then here's our little smaller bags. Let's see. 66 colors, you guys. <laughs> My goodness. It's gonna be interesting to kit this up into storage. Might need to use two containers for it. 
If enough of these are small enough, I might be able to mix and match some of my Elizabeth Ward containers and fit it into one. We'll see. Love that mint. There we go. Second to last. 135 is our other AB. It's kind of a chartreuse color, like a yellow green. Let's see what that is too. Okay. Let's pull out the canvas one more time and let's take a look at where we're gonna find those ABs. So I know I already pointed out that in the pandas, we have some of that white AB. That's just gonna make those pandas even cuter. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's hunt, hunt, hunt. We're looking for a one, two, three. Shout if you see it before I do. <laughs> okay, here's a couple of twos up here in the trees. My end frame. There we go. It's kind of sprinkled up there. Oh, I see some down here in the plants. That was a chartreuse that there was not a lot of. So I think it's just going to be more subtle enhancements with that. That orange AB that we saw is down here in these florals. Let's check over on this side of the canvas. Ooh. Okay, so here there's a lot. This is all that orange AB just in these columns or stakes here. There's white th all throughout here. Oh, that's beautiful. And even more of that orange here. And I'm not seeing a whole lot more of that chartreuse yellow green color. That was that was a really sparing one. Oh, it's kind of okay. Here's a little sprinkled here through the green. So I think that's going to look really nice. Those three ABs I think are going to enhance this kit really beautifully. So, oh my gosh. Oh, sorry to bump the camera. You guys navigating around a canvas this large. I'm a little a little uh, clunky with it today. So, anyway, this beautiful kit from Diamond Art Club is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I did see a couple of people comment though that they were a little uh, thrown or a little just kind of head tilt at how the title of this piece is Fuji Flora. I mean, Mount Fuji, obviously, which is in Japan. And there aren't pandas in Japan, <laughs> except for some in the zoos. So some people were kind of like, meh, <laughs> not entirely geographically accurate, but what are you going to do? It's a beautiful piece anyway, right? So I'm really, really excited to finally have my first piece from the artist Dominic Davison. And I really think this is going to be something I work on very soon because it is so beautiful. I love all the colors that we have in the flowers. I think these pandas are adorable. And it looks to me like just the rendering of the skies and the mountain and the greenery is going to be really, really beautiful. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are after having taken a look at it all those drills, <laughs> all these beautiful colors and this artwork. Does this look like something that you would want to get your hands on when Diamond Art Club restocks it? Or did you already snag it when it was released last weekend? And is it sitting in your stash waiting to be worked on? <laughs> and uh, does it bother you about the pandas and Japan? <laughs> or is it just about the beautiful artwork for you? So love to hear your thoughts below. And if this is something that you do want to try to get your hands on, when they restock. I will link to the listing on the Diamond Art Club website. You can go to that listing page and sign up for an email notification when they do restock this so that you can snag it when they do. Keep in mind, um, as of, well, today, today is the Lunar New Year. So Diamond Art Club has told its customers that they're anticipating the next couple of months. Maybe a little slow on inventory because a lot of their products um, do come from China. And my understanding from what I'm hearing in the diamond painting community and from shops is that um, shipping and everything just tends to really slow down around the Lunar New Year. So um, be patient, please. I know that they're doing the best they can and also trying to keep everyone up to date with what's going on as well. But sign up for that restock notifications so you get the email and you can snag this beautiful kit when it restocks. 
But otherwise, I think that that's all I have for you guys tonight. So if this video was helpful for you, please give a thumbs up before you click away. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and hanging out over here on my little corner of the internet. Um, as always, leave any comments, questions, concerns, what have you in the comments below. I read every single comment and go back to all of them, even if it's just with the heart so that you know that I saw it. Anyway, I hope you're all having a really wonderful week. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye, friends. Thank you.